my God, why would he agree to do this spot? You mean to tell me you're willing to lay on a table so somebody the size of Haystacks Calhoun can drop on your damn sternum? This man is bigger than the coronavirus and you felt every ounce of his weight on your body. This had better been the main event because how do you follow this? The wildest thing is the fact that homie tried to brace himself like there's a way to prepare for 500 pounds dropping on top of you. I want to know why nobody threw a pokeball at this man. You know Snorlax supposed to be on Route 12 or 16 obstructing your path to Fuchsia City. He over here wrestling for championships. And by far the worst thing about this entire video is the fact that the ref went to go check on the wrong guy. You worried about the big man's tailbone. You've got somebody possibly deceased on the table. He taking his final breaths. You worried about this man butt cheeks. Don't do this. And now a word from our sponsors. March Madness doesn't only have to happen on the court. It could be in your pockets with Bounty Sports. Don't let this opportunity pass you by, and it's not even difficult to operate. Pick the teams you think gonna win, compete against other fans, win cash prizes. It's that simple. Let's get into these picks. Give me Florida over Ottawa. Washington's gonna wipe New Jersey off the ice. Vancouver over Dallas. Toronto over Montreal. Carolina taking down St. Louis. Edmonton over Calgary. Orlando gonna defeat the Sacramento Kings. Come on, man. Toronto is gonna wipe the floor with the Pacers. Miami will always own the Nets. Give me Milwaukee over Memphis. Chicago's been inconsistent as of late. Give me Cleveland. Denver's gonna take down Oklahoma City. Curtis Blades is taken down to Caucus. And Kai Kara France won't stand a chance Saturday night. Lock me in for four. And if you enroll in time, you can compete against me. So do yourself a favor and click the link in my description. Go to Bounty Sports and use code Adonis and you'll receive a free $5 credit, no deposit needed. That's Bounty Sports, use code Adonis. You'll receive a free $5 credit, no deposit needed. May the odds ever be in your favor. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. <gasps> Wait a minute, what kind of destructive defense is this? Homie took little man on an elevator and sent him to the basement and had the audacity to act like he ain't know what just happened. This must be PlayStation 2 virtual reality. Somebody take his controller, he's wildin' on NBA ballers. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Homie transmogrified into bad news Barrett and hit him with the winds of change. He lucky this ain't the movie Fresh, cause there would've been some different type of shooting at the free throw line. The Lord hit her with a DeMarcus cousin special. Somebody said the doctors can't save her. Put her in a bag of rice and hope for the best. Rumor has it she might have shifted a tectonic plate. She could never play poker. Everybody knows she always folds. This is why Atlantis declared war on the surface world. This lady saw water and didn't know how to act. How you make me feel bad for an inanimate substance? I've never seen water treated like this in my life. To make matters worse, not only does she have a severe concussion, look at the little black girl. She's supposed to be raised to learn to support women. Women, only to see a woman who can't support her own goddamn weight. Who's gonna pick her up? Get the harpoon. Wait a minute. Homie got crossed into a proposal. How you get Bob turned homosexual and now you in desperate need of a husband? Look at his left ankle though. He didn't even lift his leg and it started retreating backwards towards the baseline like the coach said we about to run wind sprints. Homie got all kinds of struggles. He lost his head. Now he lost his ankles. Look at him reaching out like Jack in the Titanic. Ball went through his legs with the quickness and look how hard his knee hit the floor. Homie gonna go home and get teased by all his friends looking like he won the latest Brazzers low job competition with them knees and to make matters worse you got crossed in betwixt the highway and the beach locals and tourists seen your ankles get taken you can't go nowhere in public you should have known not to step on the court knowing your defensive attributes were subpar on top of that the professor out here dressed like super mario after he consumed the fire flower this man is dangerous the My 
Wait a minute, who let this monk leave the monastery? Wong needs to get back to Sanctum. It's unguarded. He's breaking rocks with his four fingers, and he continues to decrease the amount of fingers with each rock. He must be the reigning, defending, undisputed Thumb War champion. He can mutilate a clitoris with his fingers alone. He must be in possession of all 12 talismans. He broke a rock with one finger. Somebody tell Jackie to stop searching. He's overpowered. Tell Dwayne Johnson to hide. He's in danger. His fingers are stronger than Mark Henry, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Goku, and Thanos. Rumor has it he fingered a girl and pulled out her G-spot. If he slaps somebody, he'll crack their zygomatic bones. When he cracks his knuckles, it shifts a tectonic plate. Don't give him the directions to Pewter City. Brock is not gonna have a good time. He's cracking rocks by the lakeside. Godzilla better never pull up. He gonna have problems. Wait a minute, this man brought a new definition to the term ball carrier. Why you put your nuts in his face, bro? This gotta be one of the worst hurdle attempts I've ever seen in my life. How you jump pelvis first? The defender could do nothing but participate in the Michael Sam challenge. You replace his mouthpiece with a jock strap. Got this man playing on the wrong side of the field. He need to leave the defensive backs alone. He need to be playing offense at wide receiver. He got no issues catching balls. To make matters worse, this happened last month. Imagine denying women for four straight weeks only to lose no nut november during a football game face mask mouthpiece and his nostrils out here smelling like straight up scrotum somebody tell the official to throw the flag there needs to be laundry on the field personal foul sexual assault 15 yard penalty if i was him i'd have to take one for the team participating in the miles garrett challenge i'm taking his helmet off and swinging on him with it coach gonna mess around and put the game film on pornhub every time i come get this man it's always a story how you always late my bad, bro, but I was caught up at Stacy's house. See, you don't understand. We just had the best session ever. Nah, bro, I'm not fronting. I know she's a harlot, but this was the best session I ever had in my life. Here we go with the stories. You've been sleeping with this girl for a year now. How new can the sex get? I discovered the fourth hole. Fourth hole? What is this, family guy? Okay, Quagmire, I penetrated behind her kneecaps. Would you stop with this goofiness? You're not hearing me, bro. The fourth hole. We've been conditioned our whole lives to believe that women only had three holes. The anus, the vagina, and the mouth. I'm telling you there's a fourth hole. Man, let's go. Bro, this is not family guy. I'm not talking jokes. Every girl got this hole. What you do is you shoot her in her left butt cheek and then you penetrate her from right there. I'm telling you, blood is the best loop. Bro, come back. Why you leave? Dudes always want to play games. Like, why can't you? I just shoot my girl in peace and it's no problem. Always want to judge me, bro. Hut, hut. Come here. Almighty push. Wait a minute, can we just have a discussion regarding what just transpired on this play? I'd never want to play Call of Duty with the center because he has a tendency of friendly fire. How you just tear your teammates ACL because you wanted a spectacular pancake? The next film study gonna result in a shootout. Each teammate gonna be wondering who's gonna suffer the same fate next. The defender's body must be stuffed with feathers. How the hell you get tossed like this? Muma has it. His parents left the stadium after this game. The coach is on the sideline trying to figure out who gave this brother a scholarship. How do you get back in the huddle after a play like this? You have to retire. Look at it in slow motion, participating in the R. Kelly challenge. I believe I can fly. Finish him. Wait a minute, this man got his ankles, knees, and shins broken on a routine behind the back. I've never seen a crossover give somebody whiplash. His whole body went limp. You would have thought he got shot. Don't do it. But when you hit pause on the crossover, look at the position that he's in. Stretching his hammy. He's self-sucking. Fellatio on the court. I don't know if he's taking a need of protest or if he's testing his flexibility. One way or the other, this is the wrong way to play defense. Brother hit the splits like he was in a dance recital. He should be casted as Woody in the next Toy Story. His soul logged out of his body like he heard Andy's coming. His ACL done, his playing time finished, his career over. Just write his name in the death note. Yes! Falcon Punch! Wait a minute, what kind of touchdown celebration is this? I've never seen somebody so overjoyed they had to punch somebody in the face. 
Homie nearly knocked the helmet straight off the quarterback face. I could have swore the objective of an offensive lineman was to protect the quarterback. Evidently, this man is participating in the Benedict Arnold Challenge and is being a turncoat on his own brethren. I'm having a hard time believing this was something that was the spur of the moment. I think this was premeditated. Peep game. He led his quarterback to believe this was a safe environment to where they both can engage in a celebratory fashion of the traditional touchdown celebration. But unbeknownst to him, this was all in an effort to have the quarterback disengage his arm so where he could not defend himself. At this moment, he knew it was his time to strike. If this is what he does to his QB during games, I wonder what he does during practice. Rumor has it the QB recruited a new offensive line to protect him from his offensive lineman. Keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. <laughs> a minute i'm not even gonna mute the sound i want you to hear this boy concussing himself over and over somebody explain to me how the hell do you crash into a wall in three strides ah! it's clear this boy never owned a pair of new balance in his life just look at his feet as he approaches the wall he must have thought he was michael jackson freeze frame right here you can't tell me he didn't just defeat a team rocket grunt in cerulean city because he's tm28 digging his feet into the dirt he needs to be sponsored by Louboutin because evidently the soul of the shoe is what matters most to him since he's out here showcasing it to the world. Who would have thought you could get TMO2 headbutt without taking a step into the Elix Forest? But the funniest part about the video is the tennis player turned around like, what the fuck was that? Then the kid gonna smile like, yeah, he didn't see me. Now that I think about it, look at the old timer at the top of the screen. This man didn't flinch at all. I bet he got some licorice or hard candy in his pocket. This kid gonna go down in history as the youngest person to contract CTE. Who needs sex ed when he's got a head start on eating walls? Somebody get this kid a new pair of shoes and a helmet. He's gonna need a juicy juice after his visit to the dentist. But you gotta admire the kid's speed. Just look at his recovery time. Homie got off his knee faster than the man who just had his proposal rejected. It says, if, would you beat your brother up for a million dollars? You beat your brother up for a million That's a meme? Yeah, that's a meme, bro. A million dollars? Yeah. Huh. Would you do it? Yeah, I think I would. I would actually do that. Do oh, my God! What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I don't believe this. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, I don't believe this. Someone tell me why, damn it! This is a relentless, perverse, animalistic attack on another human being! I swear to God, that'll stop your heart! For the love of God! Someone tell me this is not happening! But why? By God, I want to know why! We deserve to know why! The God Almighty! They will never, ever be the same! You son of a bitch! My other Please. You son of a bitch Do you realize what you just done? tore his ACL, PCL, LCL, MCL, and his meniscus. Somewhere I read you are what you eat. Evidently his pre-match meal must have been spaghetti. Heard he just came from a virtual Silent Hill concert and when he said to break your legs, he took it far too seriously. All jokes aside, I ain't never seen something like this in my life. It's truly devastating. What am I gonna do about my legs? What part of the game is this? Imagine being a dedicated parent raising your child for 18 years only to find out they deep throat and heels on a Saturday night. This is crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, patient zero of COVID-19. Rumor has it she was on the set of brasses. They said, ladies, grab your favorite dildo. And she said, I forgot my boots at home. Just imagine the laundry list of infections she may have just contracted. If she offers to share a drink with me, that's grounds for a lynching. Is this what Harriet Tubman freed the slaves for? And to make matters worse, there is no way anybody dared her to do that. She willingly went and sucked her heel impromptu there's no saying what's underneath that shoe this 
might be one of the nastiest things I've ever seen in my life. You could at least put a condom on the heels. This is a lady who will never find love. She got a different definition for head over heels. There's only one thing left to do. Gotta write their names in the death note. His brother fell victim to the new Jim Crow. Because why is he out here pulling all these goddamn shopping carts? You mean to tell me nobody stopped this brother from conjoining shopping carts together like the human centipede and got him crossing the street when it's not even his light? All this time, I've been wondering why every time I go to Key Food, I can't find a cart. This motherfucker got all of them. Either this brother got the strongest calves in America, he's a masochist, or he's immune to feeling pain. Because there's no way you telling me homie ain't pull a muscle. Doctors are nearly erect, foaming at the mouth in anticipation of this man coming in for a visit. Because you know he don't got no insurance. And it appears this brother must have been used to doing this because nobody seems to be perplexed, flummoxed, or flabbergasted at the events that are transpiring. Life is moving on like this man ain't carrying all these carts. How many carts has he stolen already? He's got one cart for every baby mama DMX has. But you have to respect how meticulous this brother is in his grind. To avoid all kinds of inclines and declines in the road. Imagine if he was going downhill. He would have been getting ran over and pulled through the streets. His death certificate would have said lynched by shopping cart. But for me, the most bizarre thing about this entire video is the fact that this brother is wearing gloves and no shirt in the winter time he would rather protect his hands from getting calluses than protect his body from getting pneumonia what the hell are the priorities here this other brother struggling to push one cart meanwhile the crackhead pulling 13 i have played pokemon for well over two decades and i have never seen this species ever in my life this brother woke up this morning looked up at the sun and said today i'm pulling shopping carts and given today is valentine's day i can't help but think what is this brother doing he probably pulling shopping carts right now filled with roses he pulled out the dirt to give to a woman who's on crack all jokes aside i wish this brother the best because i know his resume looking crazy he's a shopping cart puller and he's been doing it for 15 years and you want to know what's crazy what if this brother actually bringing the shopping carts back is that considered community service i know his back is hurting so oh, a minute this man is in the wrong profession you out here delivering fast food on roller skates when you need to be in somebody backyard during a gender reveal party letting scott know he's having a boy this gotta be his first day on the job. Look at his feet. He had no chance of making it to the lower platform. Homie out here supposed to be delivering food. He dropping the people's elbow on the pavement. Don't even think about writing an incident report. Just walk on inside, clock out, and hand in your letter of resignation. It's over, bruh. Rumor has it he made a pact with his girlfriend two weeks ago about eating and drinking healthy. How the hell he gonna explain he got the Mountain Dew Atomic Blue all over his goddamn body? Now that I think about it, he might just get fired. Homie work at Sonic and he just lost his rings. Thank you.